And now let's have a look how we can rewrite all that code that we had before in a much cleaner way using the ES6 classes. Now for the class, we first will need a class keyword, then the name of the class, and set of curly braces. So let's start with a class keyword. Then we're going to say that this is going to be the employee, since this is going to be the class that we would want the manager to inherit from. And then these would be a curly braces. And then if I'm going to go down over here and just say that there will going to be a new instance of the class of John. Now the John is going to be the new employee. And over here we're just going to pass for now the empty set of parentheses. And then we're going to console log what is John. And we'll notice whether there is a new empty object or not. And sure enough, we see that we have a new instance of the employee. Now within a class, if we would want to set up a method, it is very easy and we actually don't even need to use a function keyword. So remember we had the method of show ID. So notice we don't need to again use a function keyword. We can just write the name of the method, then the set of parentheses if we, let's say, accepting any kind of parameters. And here we're going to say that this is going to be a console log, my ID number. So again, we can do a console log and over here we're going to do a template strings. So my ID number, number is, and in this case, we're going to have a dollar sign because again, we're going to be selecting the property of the class. So this dot ID. So once we have set up the show ID method, there is still something missing. And we would need to set up some kind of way how we can initialize the class every time we call this new employee. Because for now, as you notice, I'm not getting that ID. So for that, we have a very special method. And we define that special method for setting up the class. Now, the method name is going to be constructor method. So here we're going to call this constructor method. And then within these parentheses, we're passing the parameters for the whatever properties we're going to be setting up. And within the curly braces, we are setting up this ID, let's say, for example, is equal to the ID. And now let's go back and let's pass the ID as a parameter. And this method will be run every time we new use a new keyword with a class. So in our case, with an employee. So if I'm going to save this, you notice that I have the ID of undefined. And the reason for that is I didn't pass the ID once I started a new class. So in this case, let's do again 23. So once I was creating a new instance of the class, I didn't pass the ID. So therefore, it was undefined. However, notice that right now I have the employee ID with 23. And this would be John. And notice already how much cleaner it is than dealing with a prototypes. And imagine how much better it's going to be once we're going to start looking at the inheritance. And just to practice it a little bit more, let's write the same class for the employee. Oh, I'm sorry, for the manager. And in the next video, we're going to look at how we can use the inheritance. So let me just copy and paste it because a lot of this is going to be the same. So let's copy and paste this. And let's just rename the class names and the properties and the constructor that we're getting. So here we'll have a manager class. Then the manager is going to accept a name. Now, first, we're going to say that there's going to be a name. So we still need a set of parentheses, name and department, department. Then we're going to set this dot name is going to be the equal parameter we're passing. And we're also would want to do the same with department. So department is also going to be equal to a department parameter that we're passing. And after that, we have not a show ID, but we're going to be calling a meeting. So the method name is call meeting. And instead of this dot ID number, I'm just going to write that this is going to be a call meeting or I'm calling the meeting. I don't remember what we had before. I think we had I'm calling a meeting. And then after that, obviously, this is not going to be John. This is going to be Sarah. Now, Sarah is going to be looking for a name of Sarah. So Sarah and over here, the department is still going to be sales. Now, the last thing I would want is print out again, Sarah. And let's call the method that we have in a class, which would be call meeting. So Sarah, call meeting. And we also can do a show the ID for John, which we didn't do before. So John, and let's do a show ID. Again, this is a method, so we need to invoke it. 
with a set of parentheses. And now I notice that Sarah call meeting is not a function. So let's go back and figure out where is the problem. And the problem is that we're setting it as a new employee. Now we need to set it up as a new manager class. So manager, and uh, here once we fix everything, everything should be working fine. Sure enough, we have the my ID. And then over here, this would be manager seller. Now we're not console logging. I am calling the meeting. Well, now we are the console log of Sarah is just below it. So everything is working fine. And now in the next video, we can figure out how we can set up the inheritance with a ES6 classes.